My educational experiences started back in a small town called Bethel, Connecticut, actually. During my elementary years, I wasn't really the best student at all. I didn't really want to go to school too often, would kind of get in trouble sometimes. We're from Connecticut, and uh, five years old, we got him into karate. Once I saw him and learning karate, he really just stayed with it. I mean, until we moved, until he was like 11, 12 years old. Uh, coming here to Texas was a really difficult process. And um, I just remember having a, a difficult time kind of coping with the new environment. It, it was definitely a, a new world, so to speak. Joe took up tennis here in, in Harlingen. Uh, I had just started uh, participating in the sport of tennis. I had never played tennis before. In the beginning, it was a challenge for him. But um, he worked on it, he worked on it, he practiced. He would go to the courts by himself, practice, take his younger brother with him, continue to practice. For my birthday, I had requested for a uh, tennis conditioning book. Once I had finished reading the book and I was like, you know, who, who wrote this? He goes by the name of uh, Dr. Todd Ellenbecker. He was sort of my role model at the time of who I wanted to be. Freshman year was my greatest year of my life still to date. It was, it was just a lot of fun. And I was actually really enjoying school for once, like just really enjoying the educational process. And I really enjoyed having Joseph in my class. And the reason was because he had some intellectual curiosity, I think, that was just innate. He came to me in my office asking me if he if there was any research opportunities for him to do. It was definitely the start of a lot of struggles that I had not experienced before. Finally he got approval for the research project. We were able to go to Orlando, Florida and actually present our research findings, which was actually pretty incredible. Who on campus has the unique opportunity to go to the U.S. Olympic Committee and actually present research findings that have never been done before? Students come to us with a misconception about what school is and what the academic endeavor is. They are accustomed to trying to get the right answer and filling in the blanks. The real work of the university is identifying problems and solving those problems. As a freshman teacher, what I try to do is help them shift their consciousness from being essentially a student to being a scholar. You know, I, I've always kind of known that I wanted to go into physical therapy, but I kind of had my doubts a little bit. Push them guys, push them! But uh, during my time here in uh, UTRGV, I really solidified that career goal. Let's go, let's go, come on! Uh, UTRGV has been a blessing to Joe. He's uh, he chose this campus, he could have went anywhere else. Graduation for me is kind of like, again, that closure of, of really uh, discovering who I am. I, I do fully understand of who I am now and what I want to be as a physical therapist and, and how I can reach that. To see my son graduate uh, this year is a moment that uh, my wife and I have been waiting for. He's worked extremely hard over the last four years, so we're very proud of him, and as a son, uh, we've been blessed.